I refer to obstetrics as happy medicine because it is maybe the only or the main part of medicine in which what you come to do is to get a normal process supervised. You came pregnant, you're taken care of, and you go away with a baby. Unfortunately, there are times that you would have not so happy moments. I work as an obstetrician in Nigeria, a country that has extremely high maternal mortality. One of our biggest culprits when it comes to moms dying is usually bleeding. Bleeding after delivery, which we call postpartum hemorrhage or postpartum bleeding, is one of the biggest causes of death of mothers, and it happens quickly. My name is Umar. I work as a teacher. I love being a teacher. I always wanted to have kids. The day that I went for the scan and I saw that ah, I'm pregnant, I'm so excited. When I gave birth to him, the baby was fine. But I lost a lot of blood. I was afraid. It is after they have treated me that they told me that um, I have anemia. Anemia increases the risk of postpartum hemorrhage. It's one of the known predisposing factors. Anemia brings you to the point of delivery already as a disadvantage. Okay, it's controlled now, so we'll keep an eye on it to see whether we need to reduce. Anemia means that you have less red blood cells than you should. Nigerian women have quite a number of risk factors. One of them is a nutritional anemia that simply comes about because you are not getting enough of the right nutrition that can build your blood levels. Do you want to check the... No, I've checked one here. I blanched the nose. Other things that cause anemia in this country will be malaria and um, heavy menstruation will lead to anemia. Okay. And if the heavy menstruation is continuous monthly, the anemia would be chronic. It puts you at more risk for blood loss. The woman trial was a trial of 20,000 women who had bled after delivery and were given a medication that we know to stop bleeding. And the results overwhelmingly showed that if you were given this medication within three hours of your bleeding start, a third of women that would otherwise have been complicated to the point of death would be saved. So some of them would get placebo. After the woman trial came the woman two trial, in which we considered if this medication would be useful for preventing bleeding. We worked with women with anemia and the outcome to be assessed is whether a considerable number of women that got the medication were less likely to bleed. So woman two trial is to assess its potential as a preventive drug for bleeding. During my last pregnancy, I lost more blood. So I was afraid. But because they take good care of you within that five to six days, that I was okay. Would it be okay to examine you today and to listen to your baby's heartbeat? When I find out that I was pregnant again, I was so happy and I was so excited. During my first uh, pregnancy, I was not prepared. But now that I, I was prepared for the second pregnancy, so I was, I was now taking my supplement and eating the food I was told to eat. So I can't wait for uh, I want to have more siblings. That's a baby's heartbeat. It's a good, strong heartbeat. I would like that my life's work in research has been useful, that these trials that I take part of, they make an impact, that they give the kind of results that would show up in saving women's lives and making pregnancy and delivery a better experience.